Fox 24 News at 5.30. A baby is recovering in the hospital after being rescued from a hot car. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Chelsea Helms. Police say these two women over here forgot the baby in a car yesterday afternoon at a Walmart neighborhood market in Pea Ridge. We're told both are remorseful. Carly Mae Spear and Ashley Jean Danley face charges of endangering the welfare of a minor. Police say customers ended up busting out the car window to get to that child. They say the child was unresponsive and had to be cooled inside the Walmart. Fox 24's Kelly O'Neill is live in studio to show us what the laws are when it comes to leaving kids in cars. Kelly? Michael Lisenby with the Pea Ridge Police Department. Arkansas has no laws that specifically say that leaving a child unattended in a car is illegal. That I want However, people to be more aware of their surroundings. I think that that is some of the issue that we have is people want to mind their own business and in most cases you should but you know when you're walking through the parking lot just look around do you see something that looks suspicious and if you do then you need to call it out and if you see a baby in the car I wouldn't worry about a charge or or anything get the baby out so, sorry about that, everyone. We are having some difficulty with getting Kelly's mic today. Uh, leaving a child in a car without the air conditioning running or just leaving the car running itself presents a danger depending on the situation. Various criminal charges like endangering the welfare of a minor can be applicable. Regardless of the situation, medical services need to be called first before you do break out that window. All right, more than a dozen children have died around the country in hot cars so far this year following a record-breaking 52 deaths last year. Last year, Mississippi Senator Roger Wicker's bill, that's the Hot Cars Act, would require all new vehicles alert parents when someone is still in the back seat after they turn off the car. Wicker hopes to send the bill to the House by the end of the summer.